Chelsea, you are the last panelist on the last <laughs> panel. You tortured me all week. <laughs> <laughs> that is the downside of going on the last day, because you have to think about it all week. The, the people that go on the first day, they always tell everyone, oh, I'm so glad I got it out of the way. <laughs> tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, Bring us home. So I have been in the business just, just under 14 years. I started close to when you did in 2009, um, and you're exactly right. I went into it very naively, not understanding what the market was or what the job was, um, but it stuck, um, so it, it, it worked out. Yep, yeah. and um, last year, 2022, you did 56 units for just over 20 million in volume. Yep. Awesome, and um, you also hired an assistant. Was this your first assistant? Yes. Awesome. Can you talk to us a little bit about that experience? Yeah. So I had been scared to hire anyone. Um, I, I've thought about it for years. Um, but you know, it, it's very hard for me to delegate, especially where the, the client is concerned. So um, because my business is just about 80% past clients and referrals. Yep. So for me to hand off any part of the process with the client is is, is just it's very hard for me so yeah. I was like okay so if my strength is in building the relationship and and really a friendship with a client mm -hmm. um, where where do I where could I use help that is my weakness that someone else would love to do yep. but it doesn't take me away from the, the client interaction yep. piece of it so um, the I, I have I have two people now um, neither of them neither of them are selling but they're both you know, supporting me so I can sell more. Yep. Um, so Alicia, um, my I hired her in April, and she does marketing for me, and she does uh, client experience. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. since we do work so much with our clients and referrals and sphere, yep. we try to take every single person, and how can we how can we show them we're thankful for them yep. and we appreciate them and where are the opportunities yeah. to get back in front of them and I love that because for those that are in a position to do that if we're talking about adding value to the database you know having one person that's dedicated to that now they yeah. can do other things too as you mentioned they can do marketing social media whatever yeah but if their number one job responsibility is the customer experience and adding value to the database yeah that's gonna check that box which actually turns that into actually a lead generating position right Right. Because that's going to help you. you know, people, uh, unfortunately, look at operations team members or admin as, you know, they're just helping me close transactions right. and, you know, we're thankful for them and so forth. No, no, no. That could be a lead generation tool. Right. And that's one way to do that. Yeah. So I love that. And of and course, I, for, go yeah. Ahead. Well, I never, I never minded the transaction part. I still do my own transaction mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. I just, I don't mind that part. So I'd rather hire people for the things that I'm, not very good at or don't have time for. Because yep. I was the I was the one who was like, oh, this person got a, a home anniversary card this year, but then we skipped this year because I didn't have time, and then yep. they got one the next year. You know, so yep. um, it's really nice to have someone purely purely dedicated to that. And she does a lot of social media too, because that's her background. But yep. um, the other big thing that I specifically hired her for is again, since we do base. Um, I mean, pretty much everything we do off of our relationships. She has a new uh, event planning background, so oh, nice. client events is a big thing we've we've really ramped up to. And yep. I literally don't have to do anything other than show up, and that's great. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So you you endorse client events then? Yes. You have conversations. You don't. You would never know. Like yeah. if you if you weren't in front of them in that time, you might never know that they were considering doing something or. Mm -hmm. Uh, had a friend who was looking, or hey, you should, yep. you should call this person, or and also just seeing them in that different setting, you know, having a little bit of fun with them, or yep. where it's not just hey, we're looking at a house, or we're talking about the transaction. Yep. Um, kind of builds that friendship piece of it. Awesome. One of the things you mentioned when we were talking on the phone, and your coach Matt Marsupian, who's here somewhere, uh -huh. uh, said you have a lot of success with online referral sites. Can you tell us about that? Yeah. So. That is about the other 20% of, of my business. Um, I try to be persistent in a non-pushy way. So, um, I mean, obviously, you know, call and text them. One thing I do that I started doing this year, actually, that has really helped uh, get 
responses from people yep. is another agent gave me this idea, so I can't take credit for it. But I, I mean, it's simple, but I just made a, well, I didn't. Alicia made me a yep. <laughs> resume okay. um, where it just kind of lists, you know, your history yep. or, you know, your sales or, yep. um, you know, awards you've gotten or sure. things like that. So I will, like in, in the text message, I'll, you know, say thanks for reaching out, just following up. Mm -hmm. I also wanted to attach a little bit of information about myself because sure. I know you probably have your choice in agents and I'd love to earn your business. Yeah. And then I just attach that resume to it. Yep. And then you don't have to sit there like bragging about yourself. Correct. But you gain a little credibility, credibility. by doing mm -hmm. that. Yeah. And it's probably something different than they've received before. Yeah. So I feel like that's really helped people. The, the response rate that I've gotten. What online referral sites would you say you have the most success with? Um, I would say, the so Op City, hit or miss, um, but I'll, I'll go on a roll with Op City every once in a while. Yeah. Um, and why do you say hit or miss? The, because of the lower price point? Um, yeah, but you do, you do get better, like after you prove yourself yes. with a few transactions, you get better yep. leads. I feel like in our market, um, not that many people knew about it before, and now yeah. more do. So I think it, it's hard to grab it as yeah. fast as you have to grab mm -hmm. it. Um, but referral exchange is another yep. one that I've I've gotten quite a bit off of. Yep. Upnest. Um, so they're all you know you pay your referral fee. Yep. But again, you know, you have one transaction, and that turns into X amount of. Yeah. So referrals. Op City referral exchange, Upnest, any others? Yep. Um, so I did Zillow for a while. I admit I haven't in several years. I did it back when I kind of first started and it was yep. really cheap. Um, but it is something, I mean, especially this week as, as yeah. you've talked about those. Yeah, um, the opportunities are opening up. Yeah, Don't go crazy that. with it. Just right. take a look. The cost per lead is gonna drop a bit right. as, as the demand drops. They'll start adjusting their pricing down when less right. agents are buying them. Yep. For sure. So go back and take a look at that. Um, one of the things that I know Matt mentioned to me you're working on in 2023 is the farming and yeah. the hybrid farming. Yep. So talk to us about that. Yeah, so one thing that I um, also added in the last year is I got my luxury designation. So I picked a neighborhood that um, is, a, is a little higher end, not, not too high end, but, yep. but high end. Above average, yep. above your average sales price. Yep. And we're gonna do we're gonna do once a month postcards, and since we are kind of doing the luxury spin on it, we're gonna do like big eight by ten. Of course, yeah. You know, you have to. They're gonna stand out. Yeah. Yep. 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 And then um, trying to figure out some kind of neighborhood event we could do. Community. There's event. kind of a big park in the middle of it. Yeah. So something we could do there maybe in spring or summer yep. to. I love that. Put a get, put a face to the postcard. Yep. Get to meet everybody. Yeah. Yep. So a monthly postcard, an eight by ten. Yep. Uh, fancy, you know, laminated, whatever. Yeah. Uh, a community event. Anything yep. else that you'll be doing in addition? Well, I'm trying to muster up the courage to be willing to go door knocking. I mean, the <laughs> it took you like a minute just to get that out. I know, I know. <laughs> it's terrifying. <laughs> maybe I'm trying to I'm must muster yeah. up the, the maybe prefer. Yeah, yeah. I get it, by it's the way. It's not my strength, but I, I feel like when the market is changing a little bit, yeah. you have to be open to. Yeah. What can do I, I add? What more can I do? Can I tell you why door knocking is actually more effective today than it's ever been? Because consumers today are absolutely used to complete strangers coming onto their front porch at all times yeah. of the day. I mean, think about it. You, you will put a Taco Bell order in and the bag could be wide open and some stranger dropped it off in an 87 Honda that like was rusted out. <laughs> You'll still eat it, won't you? <laughs> we're just we're we're becoming accustomed to just anybody coming up to our front door is right. cool. Right. Where by the way, there was a day where it was like, you know, like like uh, Home Alone, uh, Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> Who's there? Who's there? Right. Yeah. That was you know, but not anymore. Right. People are used to people coming to their front door. So if you want to see your result, and you know what else about door knocking? Uh -huh. More people are home today than they ever have been. That's true. Yeah. So if you want a fast way to make a reputation in a neighborhood and find some leads, look at door knocking differently today than you may have in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that, that that's you know, something I would consider. Yeah, for sure. So last question I have for you. Obviously, you've been with us. You've been to some events, and you're yep. working with Matt Marsupian. Yep. How has um, coaching, how has Glover you, how have we impacted you, and what, what, what would be a takeaway to the audience as it, as it relates to that? 
I would say the biggest thing with, with coaching is accountability for me. Um, I'm very motivated by not wanting to let people down. Mm -hmm. So if I know that I have to do this by this date because that's my homework, I'm gonna do it. Whereas yep. if it's up to me and it's not urgent, yep. then um, I tend to pretty easily put it off. Like the business plan yeah. almost killed me, but yes. I did it because I had to yep. do it. So We made, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, yes, yes. We made every coach get their business plan from their client. If not, they were gonna get a call from me. Yeah. So yep. that, thank you all right, yeah. for saving me a call. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's think, hear it for our panel. Oh, you are gonna say something, well, I'm sorry. I was just gonna say, I think the, the other biggest thing with, with coaching is it, it just gets you, like if you are having a, a down on yourself day or yeah. moment, it, it gets you back into the right mindset of, okay, I know what I'm doing. Yep. You know, I, I, this is, this is my expertise. Yep. Just get back to it and, and, and pick it back up. Yep. So. Love that. Yep. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Let's hear it for our panelists. Mm -hmm.